Hi there, I am live at the official inauguration of a girl child liberation campaign, CCPA. When I say CCPA, I mean CC that has a power. And CCPA will be empowering our young African girls and women. There are going to be 36 women in 36 states that will be acting as pioneer and ambassadors of this great initiative of CCPA. You don't want to miss it at all. Just sit back, stay connected with me while I bring you all of the highlights. And once again, my name is Edo Onome. Let us welcome him to the stage with a round sound of applause. I want you to hear it as I am on the heart. Thank you very much. I want to heartily welcome every one of you who have made out time of your busy schedule to be here present. It is not easy in Lagos State to actually meet some space and then to be here. So when you see gatherings like this, in fact, we need to appreciate you for actually honoring this particular world event. Can we encourage ourselves for actually being here? I want to start by saying that the reason why we are gathered here is a remarkable one. Because history is about to be made. Whenever we talk about or whenever you see passionate, selfless women that are gathered, it means something is about to happen. I want to start by saying that the future that we see is possible that we are able to achieve it if we come together collectively. The research and statistics shows that the African girl child is one that everyone must give attention to. From my background, the research we did states that out of every ten deaths, seven is a woman. What that means is that the woman plays a significant role in our society. On that note, we are interested in what becomes of the and how we can actually contribute so that they can impact our society. For those of you who are here present, I want you to sit back and relax because when I look through the program, it is packed filled with a lot of value that we are going to take home. I want us to go back not the same because the revolution in terms of supporting the girl child in Africa has just begun. This time around, there's a little difference. And the difference is that we have been able to put together technology, we've been able to put together experience, and then we are committed to add value to the lives of every African girl. It is said that a single tree cannot make a forest, and I'm committed to identify with the African species that is interested in putting permanent solution to the manis that is affecting the girl child in Africa. Thank you very much. Hello, Ma. It's so nice to have you here. What's your name? My name is Mrs. Nse Afa. Okay, so today is the inauguration of CCPA. What are your expectations during this event? I'm expecting to um, meet all the um, participants and I'm expecting to hear what CCPA has to do for the girl child because as it stands right now the girl child needs a whole lot of things for herself we were not opportune to have this kind of um, forum to present 
our own feelings, what we needed as a girl child. But today we thank God that we have platforms like Sisipa that is here to project the misfortunes of the girl child in terms of education, in terms of health and hygiene and every other thing that the girl child needs right now. So I'm expecting a whole lot. Hello, good day to you, Ma. What's your name? Hi, my name is Nenna Ugochuku. Okay, so what state are you representing? Um, representing Imo State. Wow. We have yeah. so many Imo State people oh, here. Oh, well, is from Imo State, so I guess the bulk of the people here will be from Yeah, definitely, state, yeah. definitely. So, Ma, what are your expectations for today's inauguration of Sisi Box? Uh, Sisi Box, Box is a noble cause, and um, my expectation is that it has come to stay, and that as many people that can volunteer will be you know, willing and available to volunteer to this very noble cause. Okay, so what would you be living here with that you know, okay, you're going to be living a program with, and then you can empower and also inculcate in an African girl child out there? They well, I'm, I'm looking forward to hearing what they have to say about entrepreneurial skills. Yeah. Um, I think in recent times, when we were growing up, we didn't have much of this kind of thing. But in recent times, I've come to realize that a lot of people go into entrepreneurship and um, especially with the, with the girl child, I think it's something that would empower them in their marriage yeah. and all of that. So I'm hoping that we will be able to establish something and <laughs> hopefully we'll have a lot of girls yeah. um, you know, signify interest in inter entrepreneurship at a young age. Yeah, definitely. It's so nice to have you here, ma'am. You look so gorgeous. Thank like you. you're really prepared for today. So what's yeah. your name? <laughs> uh, my name is Mrs. Chinyere. I'm a crew. Wow. Yeah. wow. All right. So what state are you representing? Hosted. Okay, okay. <laughs> That's very nice. So what are your expectations for the inauguration of CC Power today? Yeah, I think it's a very worthy project. It's yeah. laudable and then I really want to applaud the organizers for this great initiative. It's so amazing yeah. what they're doing for the girl child, you know, empowering them with their own sanitary towels and then the bringing that entrepreneurial spirit from them in this this young age. It's amazing. Yeah. This is great. I think um, all the other are very, very well. Yeah, so Dr. Aisha Oladejo. Wow, okay. Yeah. So, yes. what is your perception of an African girl child? Well, an African girl child is a blessing to the family. Yeah. She has a very strong spirit. Yeah. Though she doesn't carry the family name, but she holds the family together. Mm. She will do everything to ensure that the family remains as one. Yeah. No matter how far she goes, she communicates with the family, and in the society, she does so much. Uh, if you train a girl child, you have trained a nation Definitely. because she will pass the knowledge to her children and from the children to the other children. It, it keeps moving on like that. Yeah. So you, the best person you can train is a girl child. Hmm. So for people that have that in their family, I can assure you that they are blessed. Yeah. In recent times, you find out that the girls are so upcoming, they are doing so well. Yeah. Even in schools, you find out that they are beating their male counterparts. Hmm because they don't accept no for an answer, they are willing to move on. And uh, they will become great entrepreneurs, the way I yeah, see it. Definitely. And I think they will take the lead from the men in the next five years wow, or further. Wow. Yeah, right, that's ma. my perception. Okay, ma. So thank you very much. It's so thank nice you. to have you here. Same here. Hi, ma'am. Good day to you. Good it's so day. nice to have you here. Same here. What's your name? My name is Mitchell Griffin. Okay. Uh, what is your position for an African girl child? Well, my position is that African girl child should have an equal right in everything. When you say equal right, okay. whatever the boys are doing, an African child as a CC girl should have equal rights. We should not discriminate, we should not bring them down. Gender equality, that's what I believe. Wow, so it's not like you're sounding like a feminist. Yeah? No, well, well, look at it anyway. We are talking about African child here. I'm not a feminist, but what I'm saying is that an African child is supposed to have the same equality that a male child has. 
So with CC Power, what is your ideal picture for an African girl child in the next five years? Well, you know we can't talk about the future, but what we expect that what is going to happen in the next five years is that an African child should come out there and do that that they have been put down not to do before. They can they can come out and be entrepreneur. They can come out and show the world that they can be able to do all the things that men are doing yeah. as an African child. They should not lay back. Yeah, no, they should not lay back because now the world is going global. Yeah. Everything that we are doing now is all about the internet. internet yeah. So they should come out there. They should not be shy. They should not feel that they are not equal to the task. Yeah. Because when you see an African child, real African child that is being brought up in an African home as a girl, as a sissy, you know hmm. that an African child will go out there and beat the boys. So I have Umi, the pioneer of this great initiative, which is Sissy Power, in person of Don Gilead. So sir, it's so nice to have you here. Thank you very much. So how do you feel about this initiative today? I would say I am delighted and I'm happy that uh, this vision actually eventually came into reality. Yeah. It has taken a lot of painstaking efforts, a lot of brainstorming with great leaders yeah. to be able to come up with this um, great initiative. For one thing, we are committed to the African Women course. Yeah. Social impact is key, and we cannot entirely leave that to the government. Yeah. So that is why we have decided exactly. that we need to take the people by the home and then begin to add value. But most importantly, to actually make a difference with regards to the NGO space in terms of strategies that have been put in place by other organizations to actually you know, help the girl child. Yeah. Our scope is broader because we have created a platform where all other NGOs can actually ride on. Yeah. All what we are saying is that they should actually identify with us and then we would actually expand what they actually desire because we have embedded blockchain technology into what we're doing. Take for example, this is actually opening up opportunity for all those who have actually supported our project and they are already enjoying our master of equity. We are trying to, we are telling them that they can actually support the human cause by actually adjusting the smart contract which we already give to them for 100 years for a month or two to actually support CC Power. This is also another opportunity too for those who want CC Power to be sustained for the next 100 years, that when they actually support CC Power, we would actually set up a smart contract okay. under CC Power that um, CC Power will begin to end BMC coin. Okay. And then they can actually well, trade that for value to continue to support the cost. So these are some of the things that we've actually put together. I want to use this medium to, to say that the structure we've created is massive. What is the requirement? It's very simple. We are saying every African woman or girl child should become what? This is in power ambassador. Okay. That's what this event has given back to. And what does it take? It's very simple. All you need to do is to go to our website, www.ccpower.org, which is open by today. And when you actually register, in order for you to become an ambassador, we are saying buy CC box and then donate the voucher to support the girl child. Okay, so um, what, um, what quantity of CC box are you Just one, just buy one just combo. One. Okay. One combo, and that will give you access to actually support the girl child. Then, for those who are not in Nigeria, we are saying that you can actually visit our website and then support with $20. And that actually makes you a CC Power Ambassador. Okay. With that, that opens up the way for you to actually take advantage of our campaign strategy, our campaign platform. So every CC Power Ambassador can start off a campaign for the girl child, targeted to your local government, to your community, to your village. And we are opening that, that donors all over the world can actually go to cpower.org and support the project. Now, once that project is achieved, we would actually work with the donor originator to actually see to it that this particular um, reason why that particular campaign was put in place is achieved. Now, there's another excitement with regards to uh, the campaign originator. The excitement is that once you are able to do this, before we give CC Box out to the beneficiaries, we actually train them on entrepreneurship. Now, the unique thing is that the originator of that particular one campaign would also have the privilege that all those beneficiaries will be registered under them in CC Box. Okay. So while they actually would scan that particular voucher, that originator of that one yeah, earns exactly. something. Yeah. So 
you see there's going to be a lot of people to actually continue to yeah. empower themselves by actually giving back to others. So it's not all about self. It's all about giving back to other people. Yeah. And together we're actually going to make impact. I want to conclude by saying that this is made possible with um, my committed team. Yeah. And uh, for, by this event, there are ladies who are actually going to spearhead the activities of CC Power. We have uh, the president of Dr. Chinwe. She has done so much. And she's actually the director of grants and operations. So we are saying this to the world that they would actually need to know. So you will be connecting with them. So if you go to um, cbar.org, you're actually going to see her there. Then we also have another you know, uh, powerful person who is also part of this, the person of uh, Dr. Stephanie. She's actually the director of strategy, global director of strategy and partnership. So they are actually more like the engine. They are the woman advocates. They are actually work tirelessly to see to it that this particular event comes true. So we are scaling far and wide. And by this, we want to open up. We want to open up state ambassadors across Nigeria in each state. So each state will need eight state ambassadors. And then in each country, we need a country ambassador and a state ambassador. So, after today's event, this is what this has opened. Uh, get it. And then they can actually begin to come on board and take advantage. Okay, okay. So, the future of positive power, like in the next five years, and your perception of an African girl child, like how do you see them in the next five years using positive power? Yes, I see every girl child to have stepped up from where they were to the next. For one thing, part of our mission is actually to see to it that we distribute about 150 million financial parts. So what that means is that the next five years, I think on our website you actually be seeing um, the, the number of like, um, giveaway or those who are benefited from this. We are going to see that. We want to achieve that. Secondly, we want to also train a lot of CCs. You get it. Uh -huh. And another thing we also realize from this event is that we are not just going to focus only on the CCs who are the girls. We are going to actually get the men to actually pass so that they can also know what is really happening at the end of the day. And that's part of things we are taking away from this particular what inauguration if we want to achieve a greater impact for the girl child. Then on the aspect of entrepreneurship, entrepreneurial grant, that's also possible. Our vision that annually we want to give out a million dollars to African citizens to be able to start up something for themselves. So that is also made possible. And we are confident because blockchain technology is actually part of this. I want to reference you. So seven years ago, one Bitcoin was like one cent. Today, one Bitcoin is about eight thousand dollars. What we are saying is that we want to see a time where one BMC coin can actually suck a hundred girl child, and with this, this is actually going to be possible. All right, sir. All right. So it's so nice to have you here. Thank you very much Thank for this gathering. Much. And I'm very sure that every person that came here, one way or the other, they already achieved something. Like they got really, really important. Thank you very much. You are welcome. Thank you, Thank you very much. Girl child needs CC power, CC box, not really CC power, CC mm -hmm. box products. Okay, the product has it all. CC power is where to be. CC box is something very exceptional. Everything about CC box will project an African child, everything about CC box will make an Afri African ch girl child stand out in the sense that is. I will call CC Box and CC Power a conglomerate. It's entrenched. It has substance. It has a lot to offer the African child. Not just about a um, free sanitary pad, not only uh, um, having access to free pads and all that, but the entrepreneurial aspect of it. The girl child being able to be liberated. A girl child having access to finance. Yeah. A girl child having her confidence back. That is that is what CC Box is all about, and that's why we're here, okay. and that's why we want to be the ambassadors, and that's why we're supporting CC Power with everything we have because you know we know that he has a lot to offer yeah. the African girl child. Okay, so Ma, with CC Power, how do you see our African girl child in the next five years? Oh, with CC Box yes. and CC Power in the next five years, we're looking at where every African child, Nigerian child, other countries, where there will be no more poverty. Definitely. 
there will be no more lack of confidence or, you know, where the African ch girl child is empowered to the highest level, where they would, you know, we won't go campaigning looking for, the, looking for money for, for, for sanitary towel, not just sanitary towel, they will have access, they, they will be able to take care of themselves. Their confidence will be built with what we are doing, with what we are building, with what we are trying to do, with what CC Box is have on the ground. In the next five years, yeah. every African child, girl child will be liberated financially. Wow, wow. Yeah. That's awesome. Man. So it's so nice to have you here. It's a pleasure. Thank, Thank you so much. much. Okay guys, we've come to the end of this great project, CC Power. And when I say CC, I mean CC Power. So we've heard it today that a CC Power initiative is for our African women and girls to have a say out there, be self-confidence. You don't have to be scared of anything and you don't have to be left behind in this economy. You have to do what? Have that voice. And when they say CC power, it means thinking beyond the box. So today I implore you to think beyond and even outside that box which you are right now. My name is Idu Onome. Till I see you next time.